Get some, motherfucker! This is gonna be- There's nothing. What the? Boy, I told you that Abraham, if you were to show you a on? face here again, I... Is that my boy come home? What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I, I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't care what you thought. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch, that's enough. Mama, if- Shut up, Jake. If I hear anything out of either of you, you'll both be peeling potatoes for the next year. I've watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourselves. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you expect him to act like one, then you'd better stop treating him like a child. Jake, your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. I've been a fool. There's no way I can thank you enough. Here's something for your help. Find I him. think you should hang on to that sword. It'd put a smile on Granddad's face to know it was being used to help people. Some goods I can sell you, if you're looking. I'll do whatever it takes to earn back my family's trust. It means the world to us. Having Jake back here. For you, things could have been a lot worse.
What is it now? You gotta be joking. Who the fuck is that? You gonna die already? Take him down, boys. Come on, you're holding up the race. Hi, mister. Bullets I got left. Shit.
I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. God, I saw something. It's over. For now. You're mine now! General? I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. I'll mark the location on your map. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. Got another thing to talk to you about. I've fought the gunners before, and something tells me this was just them probing their defenses. They're gonna need your help. Hi. Is there something you need? Sorry. You should have just run. Please just... Wait. You're not with the Gunners. Are you here to help us out? I'm here to help. What's the problem? It's the Gunners. We caught a group of them sneaking around a few days ago and had a bit of a dust-up. They ran off too easy once they saw we were gonna fight back. Gunners never back down that quickly. If you can help us shore up our defenses, it sure would help us out a ton.
Please, just... I need to be alone right now. Just when you think you're safe, you're not. That's how they always get you. Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Well, that's a few gunners that won't be attacking our settlements anytime soon. When we all work together, the bad guys don't stand a chance. Well, you ready for some more work? The Minutemen never rest. I'll mark it on your map. Go find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting our cause. really use your help. Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies? We know where they're coming. Don't worry. I'll take care of those. I hope so. Don't take offense to Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. Beer would be heaven. I should have done more. I hope those raiders pay for what they've done.
I need to assign someone to this. It seems to be growing well. Oh, my systems are eager to absorb new data. I find this traveling agrees with me. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. What gave you the idea we're friends? Sanctuary Revival Project has really helped. It takes my mind off things. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. What's the angle here? What's up? What do you need, General?
weed. Did you have any luck with those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Hey. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. I've fought the Gunners before, and something tells me this was just them probing their defenses. They're gonna need your help. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure, I'm game. Let's begin the interview. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question 1. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tests. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of Sales Coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? 
Sure, why not? Wonderful. Please find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant John graduate Elwood, students. Erica Woolham and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them their graduation. The and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall in the of, 2007, of 2074. The company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental the research, research Project The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful the defense of Anchorage. a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps Please build follow a me better to the research lab so that you may begin Complimentary your work. beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. it. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire. 
and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention, and welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezonucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. Scanning for contamination. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. Scanning for Security's too good.
Excellent work. On our side, we've gone through your report. It was extraordinary. So many pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. Our final analysis indicates the Institute is far more formidable than we ever feared or imagined. If we stage a mass breakout, Patriot's 13 synths will undoubtedly be the last we ever save. Instead, we use this one chance to rescue all the synths. Every last one of them. That's a bold plan. We can't waste this opportunity. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. So the heart of our problem is manpower. Even if we call in all our agents, and we will, we won't be able to hold our own against the Talk Institute Talk with C-114. For if the synths down there want freedom, they must fight and risk their lives to earn it. Z-1 seems capable of that. We always thought Patriot was the savior of the synths. But it may be more accurate to say that Z1 As is. much as we owe Patriot, we can't be certain how committed he is. If he learns we're willing to kill to free Synths, he may not have the stomach for it. So get what you need from him and then cut Good him luck. loose. We're all with you. We got a lot of Synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. We must speak quickly. We cannot risk being discovered. I have made arrangements. I can get the 13 we discussed into position. But, tell me, do you think Mr. Benet's plan will work? A better plan is to use this opportunity to rescue everyone. But, since will have to fight for it. And I thought Mr. Benet's plan was too ambitious. Of course, I'd fight for my freedom. And I know of a few others that might as well. But enough to face all the guards? Perhaps... If we stand up openly to the scientists, more of my people would join us. Yes. Even if most don't join the fight, certainly there are many others who have been waiting their whole lives for this. But we should be prepared for some of the synths to fight against us. You won't be alone. The railroad will fight with you. Together, we have a chance. I admire Mr. Beignet a great deal, but we can't tell him about this plan. It's his people we'll be fighting. I will talk to my friends. Meet me here tomorrow. If I don't make our appointment, assume the worst. You get me what we talked about? And I'm in business. Liam, I got your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver. You know, hooking that agent tech up to the modern terminals is going to be seriously time-consuming. Even with that password. So hand it over and I'll get started. This is a delicate operation. Are you okay if we have to use violence? Why do you ask? There are stories about the railroad that you're extremists. If I get even a hint that you're planning on hurting people, I'll pull the plug myself. Would it be possible to rescue more synths? Those 13 synths are the only ones we're sure we can trust. If we push our luck and get the wrong synth involved, the whole thing could unravel. I'll hold on to it. For now. If you think that's best. But I can't start work without it. Liam. I got your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver. You know? Hooking that agent tech up to the modern terminals is going to be seriously time. So hand it over. Liam. I got your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver. Hooking that e So hand it over. This is a delicate operation. Are you okay if we have to use violence? Why do you ask? If I... Here you go. Great. Listen, 
I need a favor. Z-114 is working the atrium again. Can you give him an update? It's safer if you do it. No, you can hear me. Now open this door. Uh, what's the use? <sighs> Dr. Higgs has always been one to complain. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised by this. What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. I'm sure they'll calm down in time. I know these men. And I can assure you, they are completely serious. Maybe I can reason with them. I believe I can help with that. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. Use violence only as a last resort. Only Here opens with a key. Just give me a moment. There, it's unlocked. You must die now, human. something. Made it past the guards, hmm? Impressive. Doctor, if you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. I know you're angry, but there's a better way to handle this. Oh, you're wrong. You see, I've tried talking. For years, I've suggested that we do things differently here, but nobody listens. Let's see if anyone can afford to ignore me now. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. No. The risk is too great. Without experienced and competent leadership, the Institute could be thrown into chaos. Decades of research could be jeopardized. Last chance, Doctor. Sure you won't change your mind? This is much bigger than just you and I. I'm protecting decades of research and progress. The answer is no. We will not back down. Who's that in the control room? Father's heir apparent. If you've come to change our minds, then Can we talk about this? Father chose not to talk to the Directorate before anointing you his successor. So how about I follow his fine example? Don't you think you're being a little selfish here? Far from it. What we do, we do to protect the Institute. I thought you were a reasonable man. Maybe I was wrong. This is much bigger than just you and I. I'm protecting decades of research and progress. The answer is no. We will not back down. Who's that in the control room? Father's heir apparent. He made it past your impenetrable defenses. What if he Only opens with a key. Compose yourself, man. 
We've always known the risks, but we are still in... control. need the key. Attacking enemy. Engaging. Can't pick this. That was... unfortunate. We don't like violence here, and I fear your actions will have consequences.
The food supply is secure. I'd still call that a win. In the short term, perhaps. But choosing violence always carries a cost. I'll see that the mess in hydroponics is cleaned up. I suppose I should also make the funeral arrangements. Well, there's much to do, so I'll get about it. In the meantime, I'm sure everyone will be relieved that this is over. Excuse me, Doctor. Well, well, if it isn't our visitor from the past. Some time ago, we covertly replaced the family patriarch at Warwick Homestead with a synth. He's been field testing a variety of genetically modified seeds that I created. Take this packet of seeds to the Roger Warwick synth. Be careful with these. They represent years of genetic manipulation and enhancement. Hopefully you can manage such a simple task. It won't be a problem. I trust that it won't. Now listen closely because this next part is vitally important. When Roger asks how your trip was, tell him some blood bugs chased you halfway across the Commonwealth. That code phrase will identify you as an agent of the Institute. Also, you must be discreet. Do nothing to draw attention to yourself or raise suspicion. I understand. Now hurry on to Warwick Homestead so we can begin the experiment.
Got it. That's close enough. Not very friendly, are you? We've survived this long by being careful. Move along, stranger. We don't need anything you've got, and we don't have anything you might want. Hey. Huh? Yes?
figure you off the throne, right? There we go. Engaging hostile! Gotta be so quiet. Come on, asshole.
Ja. 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 Didn't run into too much trouble coming out here, I hope. Some blood bugs chased me halfway across the Commonwealth, but I made it. Yeah, those things can be pretty territorial. Glad they didn't catch you. Since you traveled all this way, how about a quick tour? Right this way, if you please. I'll show you what we've been up to here at the Warwick Homestead. We're proud of what we've accomplished here, but we're only getting started. This place used to be a sewage treatment plant. We think that's why the soil here is so fertile. You got the seeds? Good. We'll take those. Listen, I need your help. The whole operation's in danger of being exposed. Tell me the problem and I'll see what I can do. I think my foreman, Bill Sutton, suspects what I really am. He's been spying on me and having secret conversations with our farmhand, Cedric. Now, he's starting to work on my wife and kids, trying to turn them against me, too. They just need to be convinced Bill's wrong. That won't be hard. I hope so. Anyway, there's more to it. Cedric's banished. Bill says he had to visit a sick relative, but I think he went to get help. Someone must have seen where he went. I have an idea about that. If Bill's taken June and the kids into his confidence, he might have told them what he's planning. Right now, they're too suspicious to talk to me about it, but they've got no reason to suspect you. Just remember, Bill's got them all pretty scared. It's not gonna be easy. Sorry, mister, but I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend of your father's, and I'm here to help him. Uh-uh. I know all of my dad's friends, and you're not one of them. Anyway, now I'm talking to you, and I'm gonna get in trouble. So I'm not gonna say anything else.
<sighs> Sorry, mister. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger. I'm a friend of your father's, and I'm here to help him. Oh, good. I'm really glad you're here, because I'm scared something bad is going to happen to my dad. Foreman Bill said dad's a synth. That's like a robot. It looks like a real person. Foreman Bill said he had an idea to take care of our synth problem. He gave Cedric some caps and said I'm a good neighbor. I wish they would just leave my dad alone. Huh? What, you dry? Head over to the third rail. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Running from something? Welcome. I want to know what you and Bill Sutton are planning. Yeah? What's it to you? I don't want to see an innocent man come to harm over a false accusation. And if it's not a false accusation? Thing is, I don't see how any of this is your goddamn business. Unless, maybe Roger put you up to this. Tell you what, though. Maybe we can help each other out. If I've learned anything here, it's that information's got a price. Just like everything else. I got no particular loyalty to Bill Sutton or to Roger Warwick. So make me an offer, and let's see what happens. I know you're in a tough situation here, but lives are at stake. Please, help me. Bill isn't the only one who's afraid. People all over the Commonwealth are talking about this institute. But maybe you're right. Maybe we are letting that fear get the best of us. The oh, truth is, this whole trip was a damn fool idea, if you ask me. Bill hands me a fistful of caps and says, Go to Good Neighbor. They got all kinds of shady characters there. Find us a mercenary. So, I'm supposed to find some contract killer, like I know how. And then hire him to take out Roger. First I agreed, but now I'm thinking to hell with Bill Sutton. I'll just stick around here for a while. Of course, he's probably figured out that I ain't coming back. Might just take matters into his own hands. As frightened as he is, a man's capable of just about anything. Charlie. My client appreciates the work you did with his rock Now if you're buying, let's hear what you want. So you can stay. Who's the singer? That is Magnolia. Flower of the third rail. And if you want to know about her other than that, it's her business. Now, are you going to order? The third rail. Is this your place? What? Nah, God. Place is Hancock's. Old Charlie just keeps the floor clean. The drink's dirty. <laughs> so, you're buying a what? So Hancock's the owner? That's right. Owner and mayor of this whole bloody town. Trust me. Never get on his bad side. Oh, and uh, stay clear of his bodyguard. So, what's your poison? Hancock has a bodyguard? Yeah. A redhead with the condescending stare. Trust me, Cub, something about her ain't right. Not that I'd ever admit saying that. I'm trying to sell drinks here. You in? What's the word around town? Well, they say there's a newcomer around here who doesn't understand that I'm a bartender, not a damn new spot. Now, are you going to drink? Don't need anything today. Suit yourself, asshole. Thank you. A little bit faster tempo to keep you smiling and... Excuse me, miss. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. 
Ah, that's it. You had that, um, I'm the smartest one here and I know it posture. There's something so irresistible about intelligence, don't you think? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? What's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does, on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. Mm, well, this place has a stage I needed to sing, and Whitechapel Charlie needed customers, so here we are. Oh, is there anything else? Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it? Well, he never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Come on. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. <laughs> it's tempting, but unfortunately I'm married to the stage. What'll it be? Maybe I'll look for work at one of the other farms. Huh? Don't have no handout. Ever been to kill or be killed? Hey. Some fine yes. looking weapons. Hey there. You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> yeah, hello. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Sweet pit boy brother. You hold on to that. Hello. What? You need something to take the edge off? Frank hey. Allen, Hotel Smell Oxford. That? He'll That's hook freedom. you up. Hey there. Never did trust that Bill Sutton. Charlie. Man's Buy his customers only. What? You still looking for work, McCready? That depends. You ready to fork over 250 caps? You've got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Man, I could really use a cigarette. Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. Hey. What do you want? Hello. What's on your mind? Your thoughts? Anytime you want me to carry some of that valuable gear you're lugging, you just, uh, you just let me know. Your thoughts? I'd walk a hundred miles if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end. Didn't have anything else. I'm at me. Big shit store. One way or another, you're going to admit what you really are. When you do, everyone will know the real Roger Warwick is dead and gone. But he's right here, Bill. Bill, you're insane. Please, I'm begging you. Let's just talk about this. Hey. You. I know you're part of this. You probably killed the real Roger so this thing could take his place. There's no need for violence here. Let's talk things over. You're stalling. You're going to try to talk me down. And then when I'm not expecting it, you'll get the drop on me. Who the hell are you, anyway? I'll tell you who you are. You're one of them! 
You show up out of nowhere, have your secret chat with Roger, and the next thing I see, you're off looking for Cedric! That's right. I figured it out. I know you're up to something, and I ain't gonna trust a word you say! Do you really want to leave these children without a father? Their real father's long gone! And I'm guessing you people had a hand in that. So what do you plan to do, stranger? Are you ready to take a bullet for a synth? And you? Will you really risk your life to prove an insane theory? Guess you're about to find out. Don't think I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crash him! <laughs> <laughs> One way or another, you're gonna admit what you really are. Hey. But he's right here, Nothing Bill. to say Bill. to you, stranger. You're insane, please, I'm begging you. Let's just talk about this. You ain't earned my trust, so we got nothing to talk about. You, I know you're part of this. There's no need for violence. You're stalling. You're gonna try to... Uh-huh. Who the hell are you, and You show up on a... That's right. Uh-huh. It's your decision, but I don't think you'll pull that trigger. There's no turning back now. Not for... So what do you plan to do, stranger? Are you ready to take a bullet for a synth? If it means protecting innocent people from a madman, yes. A madman? Is that what you think I am? I... I know what I've seen. At least... I think I do. What else could explain it? None of you believe me, do you? Am I really crazy? I don't know. I was so sure about Roger. Jesus, what if... What if I'm wrong? What if I was about to... Right in front of June and the kids? I have to leave. I'm sorry. I need to sort things out. I've lost sight of things. If we had a good supply of clean water, things would be pretty good. Thank God you were here. You okay? Yeah, mostly. I thought for sure I was a dead man. I'm just glad that you and your family are safe now. Well, we're in your debt. You can tell our mutual friends that I'll get those seeds in the ground and have a report ready soon. In the meantime, you'll be safe out there. We've got some supplies I can offer, if you're interested. Everyone used to be sick and hungry. I was scared we were all gonna die. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to Father, but to all of us. What are you talking about? They're acting the same as they do every day, and you're sure about that. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. I delivered the seeds. The good. I trust everything went smoothly. I still don't see their 
Yeah, pretty much. Splendid, splendid. Here you are, then. Something to aid in your future missions. Courtesy of the Bioscience Division. That will be all. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Have you seen J522 around? He didn't show up for duty today, and I can't seem to find him. Did you check robotics? He was probably scheduled for routine maintenance. I wouldn't worry I about I thought it. so too, but he wasn't in the log, and everyone I've asked hasn't seen him. He's never just missed his shift What are you like saying? That. I'm worried something might have happened to him. No one knows where he is. It's like he just disappeared. It doesn't feel Shh. right. Keep your voice down. You know what happens if they hear you talking like this? They'll wipe you. I suggest you keep this to yourself. Wrong. Look around. Courser patrols have doubled. Since are being wiped more frequently. Something is going on. I don't on. want to hear anymore. Do whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. Good to see you. <clears throat> it must make you proud to see all that Father has done. All... From what I hear, that rogue scent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Nice work bringing that rogue scent back. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've increased synth responsiveness by 0.04%. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Today is full of possibilities. Doc. Ah, hello. If I may take a moment of your time, we're having some trouble on the surface. There's a den of those abominable feral ghouls that's been threatening one of our scavenger teams. We've had to recall the synth scavengers until the situation can be dealt with. Hopefully by you. I'll take care of those feral ghouls for you. I'm very grateful for your help. I have no first-hand experience with these creatures, of course. But I've heard that they can be quite vicious. They are also quite territorial. So you should prepare for a fight. Good luck. All Dr. maintenance requests really shift directly to the facilities division. The synths are treating you well, I hope. Today is full of possibilities. If you require maintenance, Please file a report with the Facilities Division. Please proceed directly to process. You wouldn't happen to have a spare polarizer on you, would you?
what has happened elsewhere is what has befallen the Commonwealth atypical, less extreme, more again last night. Oh, sorry. Do you want to talk about it? No, I'm fine. I just... I don't want to think about it anymore. It's okay. I, I still think about it. I, do. I said I'm fine. Leave me alone, Jim. Hey, Marcy, I was thinking if, if you have time later that maybe you want to go take a walk along the river. I can't. I have too much to do. Oh. Well, maybe I can help. No, you won't do it right. I have to do it myself. Oh, yeah. Okay. June, I'm sorry. I I'm just busy right now. Let me finish up. Then we'll go for a walk. Unless you're gonna pitch in here, keep a distance. <clears throat> Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was gonna give you something anyway. 75 caps for your time? I'm not sure if I'm up for it. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Just had to push, didn't you? 50 caps. Take it or leave it. What do you need help with? The pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix The leaks them? will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them.
Yes. What if I redirect the flow through here? Hi. That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. That's done. Just listen to her go. Wait a second. Did you hear that? Shouldn't be surprised that stirred him up. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. 